Let's Hunt is a video series with tactics, weapons, locations and other useful tips. Always around one particular animal. Goose hunting is done in Hirschfelden and I'm wearing the uh, fall field camouflage. All five pieces. The reason for that is within the waterfall blind it doesn't really matter what you're wearing you're almost invisible you can even run around they will not see you the geese that come but sometimes I run around collect uh, geese that I shot and another flock comes then I can just lay down or uh, be on my knees and call the geese and they will still come I do not scare them as far as the inventory uh, I bring the pump action shotgun with uh, six shells a time I can shoot before I have to reload. I'm using the flagler and I'm using the short range collar of course once they break to bring them closer. Now why do I use the flagler? I had uh, somehow more success with this and but the, the most important reason is you can just click the mouse and the wild boar will call. No, of course not. You can click the mouse and just keep it clicked and that's all you need to do. With the long range caller you need to click, click, click in a, in a rhythm. It's a bit annoying. With this one you just keep the mouse pressed. It's so much easier. Always remember to load your gun. And of course also reload in between the different flocks. I want to show you where I am here. This is Hirschfelden. Uh, it's a field, you know, an open field. Many of them will work. Uh, I've chosen this one and it works. It has worked great for me. You can see all the equipment. There's a lot of decoys. And as a matter of fact, I have four fleets of decoys. I have them here. I have them here. I have some here. And again here. And the reason is uh, one particular flock of geese will not be attracted more if there is more than 24 decoys. So you're not gaining anything on one particular flock. But you can actually attract more different flocks. Uh, they, come, they come flying either right over you or sometimes a little bit further out. And I've just noticed the more uh, setups you have spread over the area, the, the better the chances that you can uh, lure down more flocks. It takes a while sometimes for the first flocks to come in. And let's look at the clock here. I'm starting at uh, 1 p.m., 1 in the afternoon. And uh, let's see when the first flock comes in. Now this didn't take long. 1.07. And I will start waving at them. Three birds come in. I've noticed often the first flock just passes. Um, and during a hunt there will be flocks just passing by. No matter what you do down here. There is a certain percentage of birds that will always fly over. Even straight over you they will not come down. So let's see what these do. Just keep waving. Sometimes they're very far out and they will still decide to come back. And the first flock just went by. But the, uh, the calling was really relaxing. I just keep the mouse pr uh, button pressed. In multiplayer you have a double effect. If one player uses the flagler and another player uses the uh, long range caller, you can double the effect. In single player there is no way you can uh, increase your luring effect. By the way, I'm using the shotgun without the scope. I think this is more, I'm more flexible, I'm 
faster looking at where the next goose is. When I shoot at one, I can already see the other left and right, and I'm faster shooting at them. Once you get used to shooting them, you're not actually missing them much more than uh, with the scope. And we will check when the next flock is coming. There's a lot of pheasants here. Always calling. But of course we are waiting for geese. 13 minutes after one. I will keep mentioning the times so you get an idea of, uh, of when it happens when the flocks come. This is quite a big one flying in a nice v-shape and of course I'm hoping for a few to break off and glide down and here they come now using the, sh the short range collar is a bit of an art actually now is a good point in time <laughs> if you call too late they will split in two groups Five shots, six geese down, this was perfect. But you will also have uh, frustrating moments. Sometimes you have a lot of birds coming down and you hit one or two or even none. This can happen, so don't get discouraged. Just uh, keep luring them and uh, we will wait for the next flock. 1321. This one took a bit longer. I think there's two flocks coming. Yes. One there. One here. This happens quite often as well. Nothing happening for quite a while and then you have two flocks at the same time. So it's up to you to decide if uh, one group breaks. If you want to keep waving the flagler and see if you can get even more from the other group or if you want to shoot at the first group. Right now it looks like nobody is interested yet. And now we get a group from here. <laughs> Need to bring them all the way over here. But once they come closer, get ready with the shotgun. This bird is too far. Do not waste am any ammunition on birds that are far out. You have 90 shells unless you buy more in the, sh in the store. Just uh, uh, shoot at the ones that are close and let them go. They will come back later. They will get mixed into another group, into another flock. Uh, you will see this when you shoot birds sometimes that the time in between your shots were very long. So this was also very successful and hopefully the next time I want to demonstrate what happens when uh, a group of ducks, uh, ducks, geese come down and you, l you call too, too late because when, uh, when there's a group coming down they will always split in two groups and take two turns, one going left, one going right and then it becomes a lot more difficult to shoot them. So ideally when you call them it's a little bit of an art with a short range caller practice it a little bit but if you can steer them to you as one group this is so much more easy to shoot them so again looking at the clock 
uh, 14 minutes into the game we've, we've uh, been able to do some shooting already and we will wait for another flock One thirty-six. Now there's a flock far out there. Well, it's not super far. They might still get attracted. And as you can see, because of the many, many decoy sets, they're actually coming. Six is a very common number. And now if I don't call, if I just let them glide down, what, what's going to happen is some will go left, some will go right. And <laughs> when you lure them now, it's actually too late. This is so much harder. they go so it wasn't too bad I got four but uh, if you get two groups coming left and right this is much more more difficult and by the way if you shoot at the birds um, I was not saying that in the right moment but always lead the shot always shoot a little bit ahead of the bird no matter how close or how far they are it's always pretty much the same um, so we'll wait for another flock for the last time and I can uh, show you that as well, how to lead the shot. Uh, so let's wait. Ooh, they're here already. Just turned the uh, camera off and I have to turn it back on. Especially at the beginning of a hunt, there's a lot of big groups. Later in the game, about one hour, one and a half hours real time. You get a lot of smaller groups as well. <laughs> Call before they split. It's not too bad. And now lead the shot. Okay, you live. And with this, let's close this little goose hunting session. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of geese down. The time 13.42, that's 21 real minutes. And this is how I hunt geese. I hope you enjoyed, never got annoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.